What is up you guys? This is Garrett coming to you from day 22 of the carnivore diet. I know it's been a while. Uh, day seven was my last video, but life has been kind of busy, kind of crazy, kind of wild. And I'm just thankful I didn't really set any sort of expectations on myself of how regular I wanted these videos to be a little more regular than like a two week and a day gap. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. So let me just get right into it. Um, today, been feeling really good. Um, the reason why it's kind of been a delay or like a gap between videos is because I've been having some just different issues that are good, they're not bad, um, but that I've just been going through. Now, number one, that's Candida. Um, I think I mentioned it in my first video, I shared my health story. Candida is a fungal overgrowth um, that can happen inside of you. It's actually like normal. Everybody's got it. Um, but with antibiotic use and different things, it can become overgrown in your system and you can have this yeast infection and this fungal infection. And so for me, these last couple weeks have been pretty hard. I've been pretty like depressed, irritable, kind of just in a rough mood, tired, fatigued. Um, and I'm having a lot of what's called die off symptoms because the candida doesn't have anything to live off of since all I'm eating is meat and drinking water and having good healthy fats. It doesn't have the sugar, the carbs, and the things that it wants to feed off of in order to survive. And it's super interesting because like, I usually do not have food cravings at all. And when I started carnivore, I was thinking it's gonna be a breeze, just, you know, keto's gotten to be pretty easy for me. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, I've learned quite a bit of discipline and how I eat. I really focus on eating for a purpose and not for pleasure. And so for me, you know, eating in carnivore just seemed like it was going to be a pretty quick switch, but I actually had like crazy cravings and now I know why. And it's because this candida was dying off and it doesn't want to leave and it doesn't want to die. So it was like, Hey, feed me some good stuff, feed me some sugar, feed me some pizza, feed me some cookies. That's what I was craving. I love pizza and cookies. And so it was like just this crazy pull for like sweets and treats that I just am not used to. Um, but I'm glad I stuck it out. And I have been, yeah, kind of just going through that. Um, like I said, it's kind of, kind of rocked me. I've just been kind of sitting around watching shows, relaxing, working hard, you know, for work. But other than that, I haven't really wanted to do much. Um, just been like going number two, cleaning out the system. I feel like every video I, I talk about like bowel movements and going number two. So thank you guys for uh, sticking with me through that, but it is an important part of health. Uh, so that's, that's kind of how I know what's going on. Um, a little bit is I see it in my stool. I see it in the toilet when I, I check, see what's going on. Um, you can literally see like these weird fungal spindly thingies. It's, it's not good, but it is good because it's leaving and it's out of here. And so again, I, that's kind of the point of this video. I just wanted to briefly talk about what I was going through, not to mention major life change. We got another dog and he is awesome. He is a purebred Yorkie named Loki and he is a stud, but he was kind of hard to work with for the first week like howling and whining constantly and not to mention i was already tired and frustrated and so i was just trying to not lose it um <laughs> trying to keep my cool and just keep my light and positivity um, but he's doing phenomenal now we've had him for nine days and he's doing great he was quiet all day in his pen today just a little bit of whining while we were gone um, but not howling at the moon and not howling and screaming for dear life, like screaming. Like he actually sounded like a human being screaming. It was ridiculous. And so Mando's been a great big brother to him. They played and, and had some fun. I'll probably throw up a little video right here. So you can see them playing and uh, just having a blast. They are awesome and they love each other. So yeah, yeah, that's been kind of what's going on. Other than that, Carnivore's been going great. I feel good. I'm actually down five pounds, um, which isn't ideal. Actually, no, I'm down eight pounds, sorry. Down eight pounds from 158 to 150. 
Uh, that's not my goal to be losing weight, but I understand that that's probably part of it right now um, with healing candida, healing leaky gut, and more so focusing on the health issues of things. I've been doing a lot of intermittent fasting because during that time, it allows my body to heal itself and repair itself and work on some of these issues and detoxification. If you're constantly putting food in your body, if you're constantly eating, you're eating, you know, four, five, six, seven meals a day, you're just not giving your body a break to heal itself, to repair itself. Um, and so that's something I've been doing is eating just twice a day, um, sometimes even just once a day um, in order to give my body time to heal. So I kind of figured I would probably end up losing some weight. It's all just body fat. I'm keeping all my muscle, which is great. And uh, hopefully here in the next couple of months, I can start building up some more muscle mass um, with this diet and here we go the boys just came in Loki gotta say hey check it out hi thank you you guys keep playing have fun awesome you guys well I just want to chime in day 22 make this one a short and sweet video just to let you guys know I'm still alive I'm still here I'm still kicking it was going through some stuff feeling so much better now though after a lot of the die-off symptoms um, still you know just Kind of going forward they're still kind of there um but i spent way more energized today so that's good i hope i'm on kind of the the back end of things and now it's just going to be using probiotics to rebuild my gut and restore everything um, but it's a process and you, i wish i could like see inside my body and just know exactly what was going on exactly what i need to do and things like that and so i do probably plan to get some testing done here in the next 30 to 60 days but I really just want to do the carnivore diet and see how I feel, what I've noticed, things that are changing, and just really get to kind of experiment, learn, and grow from this. Um, and I've got pretty much minimal supplements other than like probiotics right now. Um, just to have those going, I use Dr. Axe's Ancient Nutrition Soil-Based Organisms. Um, I just really, really trust what he has to say about probiotics. I've tried others in the past that just made me like bloated and not feel that great. Um, they've just you know some some just die when they get to your stomach acid like they weren't made to survive through that um but i really really feel good about soil based organism sbo probiotics and that they you know these are the probiotics that you'd be getting from ancient times hunter gatherers grabbing stuff up out of the dirt playing in the mud doing those things um you know that's that's where these uh organisms are coming from and they're able to survive through high level stomach acids and be able to um, get into your, your gut to, to heal it, to repair it, to, to help process and break down foods and just to make your body a fully functioning machine. So excited about that. Hope you guys have a great and blessed week. I will probably make another video here within the next week. I, I will not let it go 15 days again. <laughs> um, but hey, it happens. So we'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed this video. Deuces.